okay, let's commit arson. Let's not. Um, hi, my name is May. Oh. And oh, I have Tourette syndrome, which is a brain disorder, which means that I make sounds and movements. I can't control a yard. I'm a pirate. Hey, I downloaded Photoshop. <laughs> Another kind of pirate um, that I can't control called ticks. If you're like, hey, May, why are your ticks so bad right now? Well, I'm in rehab and... Um, I'm working on trauma, and when you're working on upsetting things and your uh, tricks, tick tricks, for kids, ticks are your body's way of releasing them, uh, re releasing stress and stuff. You will tick more, so that's why I'm ticking so, so much. Yay! Uh, so I want to talk today about something I didn't want to talk about because I figured if I didn't talk about it, it wouldn't be a problem. That's not how we deal with our problems. We have to confront them. So. Today I want to talk to you about protective measures for ticks. As you might have seen if you've been watching since the beginning of the video, um, I just fell. I have paralytic ticks and they are hella unfortunate. So if you're wondering what a paralytic tick is, basically for me, it means, well, for anybody, it means something stops moving, it paralyzes, like your legs stop working all of a sudden or something. For me, hips down, just paralyze. They just go like out. So very rarely I fall back, but usually I just fall and slam on my hands and knees. And so now I wear knee pads. <laughs> and I thought it was really embarrassing and I really hated it. But I've been wearing knee pads for a while. You might have seen the old Instagram post I had where it's me with a cassette player because my, my legs just gave out. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Um, and so I wear knee pads. I got thicker ones because I was getting bruises on my knees. And then a staff member here was so tired of watching me slam my hands into the ground and possibly on glass and stuff. Okay, there was never a chance I was gonna slam my hands on glass, but it was painful. And I would fall on the sand and there were sharp shells in the sand and everything. So uh, she got me bike gloves. So thank you so much. Uh, if you ever watch this video, just know you're great. A little intimidating, but really great. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so why do I wear these things but I don't wear a helmet? Why do I wear these things when it, I could just be in a wheelchair and it'd be easier? Well, the thing is, everybody should be able to own their own disability, you know, and stay safe, you know? You shouldn't be doing risky things like walking around without knee pads if you're going to fall and possibly crack your knees. But I don't want to be in a wheelchair because I can walk. Um... I hit my chest, so when I wear a chest binder, um, it protects my hand from my fist. Um, I sometimes would wear a chest pad, which is just a sports bra where you tuck a band folded bandana into. I've gotten very creative with my disability. Um, boo! Uh, random story. The other day, there was somebody who needed help, I guess, psychiatrically or something was in the street screaming and like hitting themselves and like shouting at cars and stuff. And I was like, oh man, what if he has Tourette's? And my friend's like, what if it's meth? And I'm like, meth, yeah, it's meth. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't wear a helmet because that's where I draw the line. I say, I am disabled. I fall, I sometimes hit my head. Yes, this would increase my safety, but I'm owning my disability and saying I don't wanna do that much. However, I do have to find a way to mitigate like having falling ticks and living my life. So not cracking my knees, good. Not breaking my hands or not breaking the skin on my hands, good. Um, people love to tell me things I can and cannot do because of my disability. And I'll touch on that in another video, but what should you know? Yes, you should take protective measures for your ticks, even if you think you look silly. Um, I just look like I'm really bad at skating or something. And then people see me fall and they're like, home humans disabled and I'm like that's me what is the sunlight ah ah this is a tick now ah okay fuck off fuck up mm -hmm. I fucked a penguin and its name was Wilbur I think that's a good place to end it on bye I love you